Hello, this is Steve. I will show you today the new pin to DMD editor. Um, I've built a new UI. As you can see, there's uh, two kind of lists on the left: animations and keyframes preview area, which is and it is the same as before. And I will show you how to use it to define uh, key keyframes and palettes for use with pin to DMD uh, to get more color on a virtual pinball machine or a real pinball machine. First of all, I'm going to load uh, some animations which I've recorded um, from playing a um, pin mame session with, um, with visual pinball um, and recorded um, the outgoing DMD frames with a special prepared uh, we pin mame DLL. So I have two files from my uh, test pinball machine Doctor Who, uh, which I will uh, load right now into the editor and then show you how we can use these recordings uh, to define keyframes uh, for triggering palette switches. So these are the two animation files. You can just click on it and uh, see the animation running. So we have this animations here, which is um, what the real pinball machine shows while playing. I'll stop the playback here um, from uh, automatically proceeding and switch on two planes for now. For VPC pin W uh, PC pinball machine, we have always two planes, just four colors. Palette um, entries except for 0, 1, 4 and 15 are disabled now. And now I can uh, search for a keyframe which I want to give a, a different color than the default palette we are seeing right now. We can of course choose a different default palette as well. So if we want to don't want to stay with this um, typical red or orange um, shading. I can define a default uh, palette for um, my pinball machine as well. Let's try, for instance, uh, somewhat um, that uses um, more a yellow color for the middle bright, uh, or maybe a little darker, like this, and the darkest one. Uh, maybe more than this. I'm not sure if this, this will be nice. Uh, looks not so good. Uh, let's try something different. Maybe we use a rather bright yellow here. And this one more a red and uh, again such a dark brown so maybe like, like this okay so um, we use more than one palette so we simply define a second uh, palette. So I uh, create a new palette. And, and here are the two palettes. Second one uh, will also get um, a different name. For instance, we choose it to use uh, the Bally logo. So I named the second palette Ballet, uh, Bally, sorry. And now um, I try to find uh, the, the right keyframe uh, to colorize the Bally logo, which is somewhere um, behind uh, this dot motion graphics. And when the Bally logo starts, this is the right uh, frame where the bubbles come in from the left. Um, I have to. Um, choose what kind of frame we are using for uh, hashing 
in this case it's the first frame because of this uh, B uh, F uh, 619 uh, is always uh, the hash for an empty frame so this we will see very often but uh, the first one which is al already checked is the right one to use uh, as a keyframe for a different palette so as I so I'm doing an add keyframe which gives me a keyframe entry over here and now um, I like to choose a different color for um, the Bali logo. So let's say uh, let's do the Bali thing in um, um, so shades of blue, <coughs> maybe like this, and then we have uh, the Bali appearing clicking on go left, left, left until we reach the end of the scene and then we set saturation for this keyframe or leave it open if you leave it, if you leave it open or set it to zero uh, the actual palette with this blue shades will run uh, until another uh, keyframe triggers a different palette or second possibility we are choosing to set di a duration um, <coughs> to end uh, this kind of palette uh, automatically after a specific amount of time and switching back to the default palette which I do in this case. So we have a first keyframe, we have a default palette and um, we have a colorized Borley logo um, which is shown in the, when the pinball machine is in the tracked mode. So we can do a, a, another uh, colorization, again create a different uh, palette, um, maybe give it a meaningful name, let's say Doctor Who, rename, look for the Doctor Who sequence which is a little bit before. Uh, here it comes. Now it's the dot motion. So here it comes. This is the Doctor Who logo, like this. And we'll start with um, this frame when it first comes into. As you can see, the empty um, the empty DMD always produces this BF. 619 and so on so this is can't be used for triggering a specific uh, scene or sequence so we had to go um, to the next frame where the first one changes and uh, this is already checked so we use this frame and do again add keyframe get a second uh, keyframe um, a new palette we have already uh, created so now we are defining uh, the right colors for the Doctor Who logo and uh, the second um, custom palette. This is how it will show up with a Bali palette, not the default palette. You can just look. Default palette, it would look like this. Bali palette, it would look like this. And the Doctor Who palette, which is uh, right now just a copy of the uh, Bali palette, we will choose different colors. Um, maybe we use some kind of uh, this uh, pink, mm, this darker one, maybe such a green and the darkest blue <coughs> is something like this. Uh, let's say just to give an idea uh, what is possible. Okay, so this is also the last scene we want to use this palette. So again, we're doing a set duration to get the duration for keyframe 2 uh, that automatically switches to uh, the default palette again. So this is, um, this is it for now. You can choose different keyframes from different animation scenes in the animation list right here. 
here I listed the keyframes. This is how you are going uh, through the animations, and this is how you're going to um, manage your palettes. Reset is a um, uh, resetting the palette colors to the default. Um, further, there will be the, the possibility to instantly upload the palette on the uh, pin to DMD panel if uh, your computer is connected uh, via USB, uh, which is not working right now or not uh, or completely working. And um, more important, uh, there's also some kind of drawing tools which is not ready right now, where you can modify uh, every single frame uh, within such a sequence uh, to get really custom uh, animations onto the pin to DMD panels. Uh, this includes custom scenes with different frames at all, or especially um, more um, planes, which means uh, more color depth. So you can do uh, 16 colors instead of just four uh, for um, uh, WPC-based uh, pinballs or, or Data East pinballs, or even more um, than 16 colors you will see. So this is it. There's a few more in the in the um, main menu uh, at the top. So first, we can simply uh, save our project. Project means all our keyframes, loaded animation file, and stuff like that. Um, to save our work and start on the work uh, later on. For some reason, this um, sometimes take a little time to open the file chooser, at least on Linux. So here it is, and we can now uh, save our projects um, to just continue the work further. And <coughs> more important, uh, more important. You can also export your um, project by saving it, not like an XML, which is all the metadata in it, but just um, the binary data that is needed uh, to export it to the PIN DMD board, um, which is essentially the palettes, the keyframes, uh, and the hashes, which means I have a file called maybe Doctor Who dot uh, that, which I can copy on the SD card, uh, give it a special name, I think it's uh, pin to DMD dot dot, um, or use it with um, uh, vpin MAME to, um, there's a breakpoint in the background, um, uh, to upload it while playing a virtual pinball session, a visual pinball session. Okay, that's it for the moment. So there's more in the in the main menu, as I said before. You can load animations, which I've done uh, in the start. Save and load your project. You can also save and load palettes separately. Um, loading palettes from um, the smart DMD files is also possible. So if you have a smart DMD file um, that um, is from uh, smart DMD uh, customizations, uh, it's a file that has Windows property format in it and also has defined palettes. You can also load uh, such a a smart uh, DMD file. I thought I had one here. Yes, it's a smart DMD file. Um, so if you're loading such um, such a smart DMD file, uh, you get a warning that it will override palette one and two. But if you load it, then you have. 
isn't just twice. You have all the palettes from uh, this um, smart DMD file. I think this one is from Pirates of the Caribbean or something like this. Um, at least the names look like this. So you can use all these colors defined in these palettes and you can also save your own palette sets for use uh, with different pinball machines and so on. Um, I created a help page on my uh, home page which I uh, put some um, manual stuff on it and uh, a couple of links with further information and of course this uh, tutorial video and maybe later on even more. So this is for, this it, is it for now. I hope you, uh, you find it useful and can use the tool um, to get colorization on many different pinball machines and share it with the community so everyone can get use of it. Thank you.